Hey guys, Blake from the Fountain in West Palm Beach here today talking to you about how to properly use a lure lock syringe. So these are primarily uh, given out to our clients when they're doing testosterone injections. Can be used for other applications, of course, but that is our primary use for these. So that's what we're gonna go through today. So uh, first things first, we have our lure lock syringe. Anybody getting testosterone injections from us will get two types of needles. They will get an 18 gauge, one inch long needle. 18 gauge is gonna be a little bit thicker. This is used for drawing the medication out of the vial. And then they will get a thinner, same length though, one inch, 25 gauge uh, needle that is used for injecting the testosterone into the glute. So I'll explain why in just a second. But first things first, let's unpackage these. So in, uh, directions indicate to peel here at the top. See if you guys see that, yep. Peel up at the top, a uh, little bit tricky, especially if you got big old sausage fingers like me. So pro tip, Take the uh, end that the needle attaches to, just kind of push it through the paper, a little easier to pull out than sitting there and fiddling with the uh, peeling it apart. Same thing on the uh, on the needles. You can push the back end through. Easiest way to open it up, make sure you get quick administration. <clears throat> so from here, um, we want to, you'll notice there's a thread uh, top or tip on the end of the syringe, and there is a little thread to put that in with the needle. So you're going to place it inside of the tip, you're gonna twist it on nice and tight, and then your needle is ready to go. So we're starting off with the 18 gauge needle again, because that's what we're using to draw the medication out of the vial. So you'll notice this needle, pretty thick. Uh, you do not want to inject yourself with this needle. It does not feel very good. Uh, we've had people do it before. You can do it, don't advise it. But the reason we have this thick needle is because the testosterone comes in either a grape seed or sesame seed oil, um, which is very thick. And so it's hard to draw through this, uh, the skinnier needles. So you can use the skinnier needles to draw your medication out. Just gonna take a little bit longer. Again, this is just for efficiency and getting the medication into the vial. So uh, again, for today, we're gonna use our example of bacteriostatic water. We are going to draw however much uh, liquid we're taking out of the vial. We're gonna draw that much air into the syringe first. So let's say we're doing half a milliliter or 50 units. To draw that much air into the syringe. We are then going to inject that air. So put the needle right in the middle of that ring and the rubber stopper in the middle. We're gonna inject the 50 units of air, flip the vial over, and then we're gonna draw our 50 units or 0.5 cc's or milliliters of liquid into the syringe. So ready to go there. Now there is liquid inside of the needle to make sure you're getting all the medication. What we wanna do is draw the plunger down a little bit so that notice the air is going into the top. So all the liquid is out of the needle into the syringe. We can now take this needle off. So of course we wanna put the cap back on carefully. Don't poke yourself. We're going to untwist it. And then we're gonna take our 25 gauge smaller needle, attach that to the top before we inject. Wanna make sure we get all the air out of the syringe. So we're gonna push it up until a little bit of liquid comes out of the tip there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but Drop or two is fine. You're now ready to take the cap off and administer your glute injection, which we will show in the next video. Hope this was helpful, guys. Thanks.